In the first walking exercise, we'll take a finger that's just as strong as the poking finger, but we'll stand there. We won't jump back out again. Then we'll take another finger and get that same structural security that we had in poking on another key. Now notice what happens. You see my wrist had to move laterally. Let's go back to the first one. Ah. So you see there's a strong element of the wrist. Not up and down. No. Sideways. Then triplets. Then eighth notes. And eighth note triplets. And sixteenths. So you see, as I went faster, that wrist movement reduced, but it never disappeared entirely. There's still a trace, even in a real trill. I can do that between any two fingers or between the thumb and finger. There's always an element of rotation in the walking. Even there, did you see how the wrist made subtle adaptations to the different lengths of the fingers? And that's the wrist's job, not to wave around trying to relax itself. It's got a very specific job to do. And this walking, rolling exercise helps the wrist discover that feeling.